I had a very boring day yesterday. I made the Satan card and the Angel of Pharisees card, which I thought was important to mention because I've seen a growing number of rappers and some of them I'm, I'm really confused about. Um, I think it was a month or two ago, my mum showed me an article. Who's this girl? Do you know who this girl is? And there was this just random girl on the front cover and I don't know, my mum seemed to believe that she was mega famous. Do you know who this girl is? She's, she's really mega famous. And I'm just like, no, I have no clue who this is. And I don't know, but it was weird. But it made me feel like there was a bunch of people that were um, creating, I guess, creating singers that definitely weren't connected to a spirit or anything. And it just felt like they were lying to the, the public about who's famous and who's not. And there's going to be so many people at the fall for this. There's going to be so many Christians who have no clue what singers are are actually charting. That charting, they're just going to believe whatever the media tell them. And you know, I mean that that girl that I found yesterday, Vicky, um, her song was awful. And then she had an interview where where she was like, "Yeah, I'm doing this. I'm doing this," but she sounded so kind of chavy and yeah but i bet i bet there's loads of people that would be capable of believing that that girl is a mega famous star yeah i mean if, if you took that girl and said that she's equally as famous as gaga how many people would believe it i mean i, I would say none but obviously there must be people that would believe something like that i mean unless they're just she's more famous in america but i i don't know what's going on but i i feel like it's important though that because um yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of people that don't want to insult me because they are afraid that my spirit is going to start scaring them, um, which is very likely to happen. Um, so if, if, if you raise up a bunch of angels who, um, who, who are likely to insult me and not, not think that it will come to anything, um, that might be a good idea. But um, yeah, and then... I just felt really, really tired, like superly tired. And it, it, I don't know if anything's going to change for me because, you know, there are parts in the Bible where you'll see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, but I'm not the Son of Man. And it's just like, so how do I know that I survived this? I mean, it's been 11 years and I, I still don't feel like I have actual evidence that I'm actually going to be exposed to, to the public. I think the, um, the public are going to see my image. But if if I'm now so if I hate the world so much that I don't even want them to really know or see me, I'm feeling like, well, maybe people are only just going to see some sort of sacrifice. And and if they're only going to see some sort of sacrifice, it's like, well, do I even need to be alive for that? I mean, you could create an AI version of me and just say that that is God. And, and then I don't know. I'm inspiring things of the past. And I feel like I'm also able to curse people if, if their spirit doesn't align with my spirit. Um, and, and I, and I feel like there's so many things happening that I can't control. And, uh, and I also, I'm not certain that I'm actually going to survive much longer because I don't want to survive much longer. So, um, I, 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 I don't know. Um, and I don't know, getting images of, of, I don't know, being spiked or something with some sort of needle doesn't have to actually go in, but, um, but yeah. Technically, that's how you kill someone, isn't it? And that's the preferred way. I, if I was to choose a way to die, I would choose a death by injection where your heart beats. An injection that makes your heart beat slow and stop. Um, I think that would be the best way. Gunshot is, is good, but it's also a bit of a shock to the system. Um, whereas I think if you're fast asleep, um, there's, there's no shock factor. It, it just happens and you don't feel anything. Um, so that's, that's my preferred way to die. But um but gunshots are quicker um and and yeah so i i don't know um i was fantasizing about getting married to satan that would be kind of cool um you have like a big red hot sexy demon i'd probably actually go for the rock guy um like it's it's more his his physique that's kind of you know if you want if you want to create a fake wedding between you know how people are waiting for the bride of christ and a lot of Christians aren't going to see me as the bride of Christ. So you can have like a, because um, my religion seems to copy the Christian religion. Um, 
only tell it in a slightly different way. I was fantasizing how, about how funny it would be if, if we, we copied the Bride of Christ idea, only instead of calling it Bride of Christ, calling it like the Bride of Satan. And then I can marry, I'd probably choose The Rock. If I was to choose any actor to have a fake wedding, not a real wedding, a fake wedding, um, uh, I'd probably get, get The Rock, big, big red horns and um, it's, it's an idea. Um, and uh, it, the, the point of it would be to aggravate Christians. Um, and, and, you know, there's a lot of Christians who believe in demons and stuff like this. And so if they actually, if you actually show a demon to be like, I'm marrying a demon, I'll just wind them up. I, I like I like the idea of winding them up because they, they all they all wind me up by believing in absolute nonsense whilst pretending to be you know the wise ones. They're not foolish. They just believe that you know God was at the beginning there was God and and you know b before God there was nothing and then then God was there and then suddenly God created everything and and seriously that that story is so freaking scary. If you knew that you were that God the thought that you were alive before the universe is just freaking scary. And I really, really hope that's not the truth. And I don't believe it is the truth. So that's good. Um, but yeah. And then they have this, I don't know, I was listening to that Vicky girl talking about, you know, how, how the beginning started. Yeah, in the beginning, God made Adam and Adam made Eve. Or no, God made Adam, Eve out of Adam's rib. And she was talking about it like it was, you know, like this was a truth. But really, she sounded like a mad person. You know, if you go into a mental hospital and you ask them, someone in a mental hospital that's going through a, mental, a complete mental breakdown, you know, how do you think the world started? Oh, well, there was a brick and then suddenly brick became two bricks. And then, then life started forming off the brick. And then God thought, no, I don't want a brick. I, I want... I want a planet and, and then the brick turned into a planet and then the bugs turned into fairies and, and then God said no the fairies aren't very nice and then and then I want want to turn the fairies into humans and then humans were there you know like that's if you take that story it's, it sounds like a crazy person's talking it but if you take the, the bible stories of the old testament and and, and talk about it I'd love the, there to be interviews like this so you find a bunch of people who you want to turn into famous people but you find complete idiots um that believe this nonsense and are happy and then and you ask them why they're are, are you brainwashed at all in, into believing this no 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 the bible is the true the bible is the, the word of god so yeah of course i'm not brainwashed i mean why would i be brainwashed when i think it's the when i think it's the word of god so, okay <laughs> do you know that god is a bit more intelligent than this um <laughs> um but yeah I, I don't know i just um yeah i like the beauty and the beast story where um where bell gets taken into a nice house and 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 then has to marry some sort of hideous beast that that's an idea um but yeah i i, I feel like i don't want people to know who i am so the cave idea becomes after the marriage i suddenly get locked in a cave ah! I don't know. I'm just I'm fantasizing about stories because I I have nothing else to do, um, and I don't know what else to say. Um, the fish did die. The baby one. I tried to save it. I actually tried to give it fish to fish resuscitation, and I have decided that I think there is a wolf in fish clothing in that tank because five fish died within a 24 hour period. Now I know a lot of fish. I have a lot of fish, so I do about two or three die every month um but yeah to have no die in about three weeks um you know i had the the one that died of the thing and the one that died of the but that that was at the beginning that was like at the beginning of february and so to have no fish die in between that time and then have five die on the same night just after i started talking about math deaths i was talking about the moses i made the moses page and i was talking about how um the maths i was talking about the plagues and then it's weird how like straight after that they lose five fish in in 24 hour period um but yeah um so i'm i'm going to i don't know if i'm going to buy more i i, I want to buy more neons because i don't think the neons are very happy but although i do know that one of the neons were a little bit aggressive towards the other three um so maybe that was the, the wolf in fish clothing but i i don't know um but yeah i don't want to buy any more just for them to be killed again but i don't know i'll let i'll, I'll I'll think about it if I'll get more neons. 
um, and and yeah, um, whatever. The, the cages are is quite a full. There, there's about twenty five in each. There's about maybe even more. There's, there's, a, there's about twenty five fish in both both the the tanks. Although the one the smaller tank has has mostly got fry in there. Um, I caught about nine nine or ten babies last two weeks ago. So got quite a lot of fry growing in there. But um, but yeah. What else did I want to say? I notice I know this there's a war going on in Israel with Gaza and I don't know what to go to say about it. Um but it's it's reminding me of you know the God the Father that, that kills people and stuff and there was, there was a lot of war before the, the before and after the flood. Um but yeah. Um, Gaza sounds like Gaga and Gaga's my devil representation. Um but yeah. I, I don't want to say that that means anything because I I don't I I don't know I I just know that war needs to happen um, but it's I'm not taking sides is, is the thing um, I'm not taking sides um, I'm on the sides side of the leaders and hoping that they can fix the population problem.